presented by Exquisite Timepieces. More about them in the description down below and later in the video. What's up everyone, I'm Guy, and today we're looking at the Speak Marin Ripples. Now for a lot of people, a Patek Nautilus or something like the AP Royal Oak 15500 ST is a bit of a grail watch. And while the Royal Oak is an expensive watch with a retail price over $25,000, the price isn't the only problem. The real problem is even finding one for sale from an authorized dealer for that retail price. And once you start looking on the aftermarket, price goes straight out the window. They trade for fifty dollars to $60,000 and up, and let's not even get started on the Patek. This watch, Ripples, represents the Speak Marin brand's first ever bracelet-equipped watch in stainless steel, leading the way in their new high horology sports collection. And it's an alternative to the Royal Oak that I think more people need to have a look at. Now this is the second Speak Marin that I've had a chance to review, the first being the Dual Time Mint. And the more I see from this brand, the more I really like it. And while the Dual Time Mint was what I would consider to be a bit of an avant-garde design, although extremely nice, don't get me wrong, this Ripples model is both modern and it's discreet in its style and in its presentation, and I have to say I really like it. Limited to just 100 pieces of annual production, this 40.3 millimeter in diameter watch case in what they call their La City design houses a cool gray brushed dial with exclusive ripples finishing. Now the watch case, it's incredibly thin as well, coming in at just about 10 millimeters in overall thickness, making it quite slim for a sports watch. Being as it has an integrated bracelet, I'm going to have to say that giving measurements on the lug-to-lug -lug wingspan length and things like the lug width, well, that's kind of difficult to measure. But suffice to say that it wears a lot like a typical 40 millimeter watch. Speaking of how it wears, on my six and a half inch wrist, I have to say that it wears really well. Now, given the size of the dial in the watch face, it does have a fair bit of wrist presence. I always find that watches with smaller dials, they seem to present a little bit smaller in general. And the reverse is true with this one. The dial spans a wide range of the watch case's real estate, and it does give the watch a lot of pop on the wrist. The front and the open display case back sapphire crystal do feature an anti-reflective coated treatment, and from the rear of the watch face, we are presented with an impressive display of the nicely decorated 52-hour micro-rotor equipped automatic movement. Regarding this movement, the watch is equipped with the SMA03-T caliber automatic movement. It's designed and developed by the brand, and this movement comes in at a mere 3.9 millimeters thick, thanks to that integrated micro-rotor. And because of that micro-rotor, you're greeted with a great view of the movement's four decorated bridges and the finely crafted hand-beveled angles and plate edges. The quality and the presentation on this movement really is second to none. The three-piece link tapered and integrated bracelet alternates from brushed to polished on the center links and it's finished off with a concealed folding clasp that is engraved with the brand's logo. Now given the integrated nature of the bracelet, it does make for a familiar overall design. Not too dissimilar to other watches on the market, but being familiar often means that it's a design that's done really well. And of course, that's no exception here. The Ripple Dial, it has a lovely collection of high polished appointments, including the hour markers, the spade style handset, and the offset small seconds subdial, giving a front facing presentation that's both classically refined and technically modern all at once. The horizontal texture of the dial gives the dial some depth and dimension, and I have to say that I found that depending on the viewing angle, it gives the impression of changing colors, from sometimes a subdued flat matte gray type of finish to something more reflective with almost a glossy silver appearance. And of course, the positioning of the small second subdial, it's a distinct characteristic of the brand. And it's not typical to see a watch face with a small second subdial at the one o'clock position. Now, whether you like an asymmetrical layout or not, well, I guess that's going to vary from one person to the next. But it's inset into the dial with a rhodium plated and highly polished surround so nicely that it really looks great in my opinion. The hands on the hour markers, they have a matching high polished finish and the spade shaped hour hand is another hallmark of the brand. The stick style markers are simple and they're clean with the only variation being the double markers at the noon position. Overall, it really is a clean and an uncluttered layout being just a touch whimsical with the presence of that offset small second subdial. 
Now the watch case fit and finishing, it really is excellent. And the case shape is what they call their La City design. Now it's a significant departure from watches like the previously mentioned Dual Time Mint that I reviewed in the past, which uses their Piccadilly style case. And of course, this case shape certainly is reminiscent of watches like the AP Royal Oak or even more so the Patek Nautilus, but it's not so similar as to be derivative in my opinion. If anything, the integrated bracelet gives off more of that vibe than anything else, but I would imagine that Gerald Genta certainly lent some inspiration to the design of this one. So what else can I say about this one? Well, it's a high quality timepiece with high horology appointments, including a micro rotor equipped and incredibly thin movement. I will say, I'm not personally crazy about the name. Ripples wouldn't be my first choice for a line of watches if I'm in the brainstorming meeting with the team giving the watch its name. But hey, it's not my baby, and I certainly can look past something as superficial as the name and appreciate this watch for what it is. It's an excellent luxury timepiece that competes with the likes of watches from the holy trinity of watchmakers, including Patek and AP. This video is presented in partnership with Exquisite Timepieces, located in Naples, Florida. Exquisite is an authorized dealer of dozens of watch brands, including Seiko and Grand Seiko, Omega, Oris, Blanc Pan, Breguet, and many more. Exquisite also has an amazing selection of pre-owned watches with new inventory coming in daily. So if you're looking for your next watch, check their website, exquisitetimepieces.com, or call their store at 239-227-2932, and let them know that you heard about them from Guy and the Just Blue Fish channel. I can't recommend them enough.